It's a simple plastic cap from a bottle of water, but it could have killed 10-year-old Bella Tamez as she inadvertently swallowed it, and it became lodged in her throat. But I was just like, um, I can't breathe. I just need to go to a teacher and get help. So that's what I did. I just went to the teacher and she helped me. It was a scary situation for fifth grade teacher Melissa Saget, who immediately got behind Bella, wrapped her arms around her and began performing the Heimlich maneuver, something she'd never tried before. This went on for quite a while to the point where I really was worried I was going to lose this child. She continued the maneuver for several minutes until school nurse Terry Bauer arrived and took over. They were able to move the cap a little to partially open the airway, but the cap remained lodged. She was so fearful and so anxious. But she was able to get a little air, and Principal Katherine Anderson rode with Bella in an ambulance to the hospital where they were about to surgically remove the cap when it finally came free on its own. Doctors told Bella her teacher and nurse probably saved her life. I told her thank you. Um, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be, be, be here. Um, we were able to save a life, because honestly, I think it could have, could have gone you know, a different direction. The Red Cross estimates that more than 10,000 children every year are treated in hospitals for choking. It's the fourth leading cause of death for children. Everyone here glad that Bella did not become part of that statistic. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.